and it's a big welcome to the big league. Two very tense teams in the dressing room today for this very important clash, important very much so to Souths, and still quite an important game for Valleys. Fine conditions at Lang Park, ideal conditions for the big game. Here's our expert, David Wright. Well, thank you, Arthur, and uh, why wouldn't they be tense when you have a look at the points table and we see that Valleys are on 13 points in uh, third position and South on 12 points, equal fourth with East. So a very important match for both sides. Recent form has been a contrast leading into this match. In the last four games, we've had Valleys winning three and drawing one, but on the other hand, South have only been able to manage one win and they've had three straight losses, a long time since the Magpies have been in that position. Valleys last week against Brothers, they were very tradesmanlike, but they did establish a couple of good leads during the match and let it fritter away, and I'm sure Peter McQuirter won't want to see that happen again this weekend. South, on the other hand, reportedly played quite well last week against Redcliffe, but they did go down 30 points to eight, so they had to be doing something wrong. They've made uh, one important change for this week, and we'll have a look at the teams a little bit later, but they'll be looking for a big improvement if they're going to be able to take on the diehards this afternoon. A short time ago, Arthur asked South second rower John Elias whether he'd made the right move in coming to Brisbane from Sydney. Well, I think I have, Arthur, yeah. Well, um, I've played most of the time second grade for South, and I'm playing A grade here, so I think I have, yeah. Mm. What's your background in the Sydney competition? I'm um, originally Canterbury Junior, and um, I went to Newtown first, had a season with Newtown, and I broke an ankle, and I was out for the year. The year after, I just went to France in the off-season, Avignon, and uh, come back and went with South, and I thought I'd done really well. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Did you come up under your own steam? Um, no, not really. What happened, um, the chances of playing at South again this year were really good, but um, I spoke of Uby Abbott, he's good friends of him. He says, try South, and I thought the opportunity would be there. I wanted to play A grade, and mm. I says, OK, yeah, why not? Look now at the south side, and there's been one change from last week. Scott Tronk, number 10, comes into the second row for Ash Lumby, who's been relegated to reserve grade. An important change that for South because Scott, a very, uh, Scott Tronk, a very talented player. In the centres, Mel Meninga, of course, still not eligible because he's away with the Australian side in New Zealand for the next couple of weeks. Looking at the Valley side then, and they've also made one change to the run-on side. Mick Hickey comes in at number 13 in the front row, and he replaces the injured Greg Walker. Valley's non-stop second rower Mark Hone, a member of last year's highly successful Toowoomba Clydesdale side, also toured New Zealand with the Queensland country team, and one of Valley's best buys this season. South lock Norm Carr, the captain in 1985, and of course it's his first year with the Magpies after a long and distinguished career with West. He hasn't been in uh, exactly top form in the last month or so, and it could be a return to form today that could signal a Magpies resurgence. Referee for the match is Eddie Ward. South's running from the northern end of the ground against the breeze in this first half and it's Gary Belcher the fullback to start play down to Booth who slips it straight on to his winger Chalosky got Chalosky out of one tackle and does well to take it 22 metres out from his own line Fitzgerald the hookers up there to distribute for Valleys and uh, swung back by Lewis as it's the uh, Valleys 22 metres out from their own line with uh, Samuelson uh, playing it back. Now there's the, uh, the kicker, Coyne, who's knocked down or bumped after he uh, kicked through and the referee has seen it. Peter Coyne certainly taken out of play after kicking the ball through, but he was very alert to put the little one over the top. Always a dangerous practice to kick short from inside your own territory, but it seemed that uh, Coyne had sized up the situation. There he is actually getting brushed to the side and uh, made sure he uh, made a, quite a spectacular fall to the ground. Penalty kick takes play up to the halfway mark. Valleys running with the assistance of a breeze in this uh, first half and not wasting time about taking the tap. Ten metres inside South Territory. Chalosky's up in the dummy half position as it comes to Lewis. Lewis slipping it back. The fullbacks uh, into the line. Uh, in fact, it was Holmes who was up there. Or, uh, as uh, it comes back towards Samuelson. The Valley's in much the same position, 10 metres inside South Territory. Gerald is there to Lewis, and uh, there's the kick coming through from the uh, from the centre. Coyne, a good kick too from Coyne as it runs down towards Tate. Not quite good enough, taken by Gary Thompson, and the South Swinger on that right flank in possession. Norm Carr, the captain of the side, and uh, well and truly upended by Kiss, the, uh, the winger. And so Souths have this uh, position of, in that position of trying to uh, ruck it away. Back to Cullen, the halfback. Meskell takes it, the front row forward, Mark Meskell. 
just 20 metres out from their own line as the ball is put down by Chris Phelan and the knock-on to be played. Valley's ball, Lewis, Samuelson couldn't, couldn't get to it, the full-back's there to pick it up. Booth, Samuelson and Jalowski from this far side wing. Elias, one of the tacklers with Jackson. 30 metres out from South's line, McHickey. In the front row today, McHickey replacing an injured player, Greg Walker. Now, Samuelson from the half-back, the moves are on, here's Kiss from the blind side wing. Final tackle. And uh, couldn't get his kick to it, so it's left to Samuelson. Coin didn't get the opportunity to get the kick to it, but Belcher losing it then as he goes up very high. And uh, six tackles to go. Valley's ball. Spencer's mistake. And it's a penalty to Valley's against uh, Norm Carr, not getting off the player there in that uh, to allow him to play the ball. Obviously a professional penalty. Michael Booth, Valley's captain and fullback, attempting to put first points on the board. We've had 12 minutes of play in the first half as Booth comes in. Flags are up, so Valleys take the early lead in this match over South, leading 2-0. Belcher restarts play for Souths. Taken by Booth, straight on to Chalowski. Chalowski tackled by French. Good wrap-up tackle. Fitzgerald and uh, home. Taking a lot to stop, Mark Hone, Lewis, Samuelson, and Coyne is there, further out to Stephen Boys, and uh, the pass across to Chalowski, coming back in field, 30 metres out from his own line. Michael Booth's up there, to Lewis, and Coyne inside this time, dumbing, back inside to Stephen Boys flying through, 10 metres short of halfway. Fitzgerald. Across the coin. Short pick over the top. And pushed back again to Belcher. Cars dummy half for Souths. And Paul Wallace coming in from the wing for Souths to uh, make that extra man in there. Muller. French and Elias picked up uh, by the second row but uh, ball nearly picked up by Valleys still south ball Tronks into the dummy half position and uh, now this is the feeling Chris feeling back to Cullen and Elias it's away from one tackle from McCabe and slips the ball back but the ball has been knocked on to the referee so we'll have a scrum Scrums to all. Valley's ball. Lewis. French the tackler. Booth up into the dummy half position. The fullback is Coyne. And turning it back again to Kiss from that wing. No. Getting into the movement quite a few times from the blind side wing. There's Kiss. Now to Lewis. Samuelson. Coyne. Changing direction, back nicely picked up by Samuelson. 24 metres out from South Line, Valleys are leading 2-0. And uh, Coyne in place. Well, Wilson should say, Mark Wilson, the lock forward. Across to Lewis, switch back again to Nello. Nello 22 metres out. Final tackle, Coyne. More pressure on Belcher. Can't get to it, but South's ball forced over the line, so it's a dropout from the goal mouth. So important for players to get around and assist the man trying to take the ball. And good work from Jackson to be falling back in behind Belcher there and to pick up the scraps. Who starts play? Booth. Good run from Booth. Only 22 metres out from South's line again. Across to Wilson, further across then to his halfback and then to Samuelson. There's Coyne. 
Wrapped up by Jackson. Not the first tackler in there, the other one was in there was Gary French, the 5'8 for Souths. Across, Nellor. And straight to his hooker, Fitzgerald. Trying desperately to get the pass back, but tackled by Muller and Tonk, the second row forward. Up the middle comes the uh, winger, Kiss. Really getting involved in the game today, this winger. Ten metres out. It's Gerald there for Valleys. And the moves on. Where's it going? Stays with him. Final tackle. Wilson's dummy half to lock. And there's Coins. Bomb again. Bombing Souths today. A lot of pressure on Belcher again. It takes it well. Gary Belcher drops out. Right down to halfway. There's the replay. Belcher taking it well under a lot of pressure. Once again, got a little bit of protection as well. So good work from South. They're doing it well as Belcher's uh, having to take a couple of bombs so early in the match. I believe they've taken it up. It comes out to Samuelson. Changing direction. And uh, picked up. It gets it back to his lock forward. On it comes to Lewis. Scott Lewis going straight up the middle. Only 14 metres out from South line. Valleys are leading by two points to nil. Fitzgerald, the hooker's up there. To Samuelson. Across the end of Boys in the centres. Boys, a good strong run. Beats the first tackle of Meskels. But uh, couldn't get away from the next tackle of Wallace, the winger. Across to Samuelson and Nello. Now that's giving it back to Wilson. Stepping well, uh, Mark Wilson. 11 metres out. Well, he's looking very dangerous. Fitzgerald is there. Longer pass out to Scott Lewis. Lewis running across field. Breaks that first tackle. Flicks it back beautifully then. As he got it back to his winger. But Valley is only two metres out from the line. Tudovsky to play it back. And uh, there's the kick from Boys. And following it through is probably just too deep. Muller takes the tap. And this is Meskel. Well stopped by Peter McCabe. And with assistance from uh, Nello, the front row forward. Now Norm Carr, south skipper. 30 metres out from his own line. Gary French into a dummy half position. To Cullen, the half back. And uh, John Elias now. Turning it back to Cullen, well and truly wrapped up by McCabe. Chris Phelan sends that high pass to his 5'8", and then to Jackson, further across to the fullback Belcher. Steps out of one tackle then as he moves the, the pass going astray. But Wilson dives on it for Valleys. Fitzgerald across to McHickey. Valley's leading, 2-0, 20 minutes of play into the uh, first half. Across to Boys, Stephen Boys trying to change direction, runs into Elias and company and picked up by Phelan for Souths. Chris Phelan, play it back to uh, Hubie Abbott. Across to Meskell this time. Now French and second row Tronk. French, not Elias, and French. Can't get away from halfback Scott Lewis. Muller, Cullen, Tronk. And getting off the ground to Jackson. Changing direction. Knocked off balance by Nello. Muller playing it back. And that's Peter Jackson kicking for the line. Pretty good kick too, and excellent kick. South wall, out to French, longer pass to Jackson, doubling round is the fullback Belcher. 25 metres out from the line, Jackson can't get away, for, yes, did get away from the fullback, picked up by Coyne, with assistance from the second row of Peter McCabe. And uh, that's running from dummy half is uh, Muller. Muller had support up alongside of him, but uh, it's Muller who will play it 10 metres out. Uh, Peter Jackson running like a forward on that blind side. Six metres out from Valley's line. Souths in a strong attacking position. Let's see what they can do. Across to uh, halfback Muller to French. And uh, here's Tronk. And Tronk sending a short pass then to Elias. Elias crashing through. He gets the pass back again now to Thompson. And Thompson races through. Puts the ball down. And that's the first try of the match for Thompson. And Souths lead by four points to two. Good work from Souths. Really good passage of play. Uh, Elias, uh, first of all, came off a short pass. And then uh, 
of course, they uh, they went on with it then, uh, South. Good work. Thompson backed up nicely. It looked like the play was going to break down. Here's Scott Tronk. There's the short pass to Elias. Elias is able then to stand in the tackle. Has the first option of passing to Belcher. Belcher then slightly overruns him. Back inside comes Thompson. Then Thompson straightens up and uh, goes very hard for the line and just gets it down. Good work from South. There's Elias breaking the first tackle. Then uh, puts one palm out to make sure he holds off the other tackler. Thompson straightens it up. Mella comes across as one, but hit and heavy tackle is Thompson by Mark Hayne, but he just gets the ball on the line. Gary French attempting the conversion. And the flags are up, and so Souths go to a lead of six points to two. Michael Booth restarts for Valley. 16 minutes left in the first half. As it goes down to the uh, fullback and to Wallace now. Paul Wallace, the winger for Souths, tackled 22 metres out from his own line. Muller up into the dummy half position, South hooker, and there's Scott Trump. Only 19, but having a very good season, just as we mentioned before, out a couple of weeks uh, injured, but uh, having an outstanding season. This is Chris Field. Muller. And it's a penalty. The valley's up inside the five metres, particularly Scott Lewis, the halfback, and it's a penalty to South. Just taking the tap very quickly as it comes to the 5-8 and then to Jackson in the centre, switch back to fullback Belcher. And Belcher away from that first tackle from Lewis, but up to the halfway mark. Muller. And there's Cullen. Making some good ground up the middle, 10 metres inside Valley's territory. Scott Trox, dummy half. French. Muller. Halfbacks passed. Jackson further across then to uh, the fullback, flipping it back to Wallace. And the winger tackled 12 metres inside Valley's territory. Cars into the dummy half position this time. Distribute to Cullen. Muller. French. Kicking across for the line. Not going to find the line. Booth takes it. Bounces out of the first tackle, a good strong run from Booth. Dummy looking back inside and does well to take it up 10 metres short of halfway. Now it's switched across. This is the hooker Fitzgerald who seemed to hurt his knee just before he went down then. Well, he slipped across to his half back and then to McCabe. Peter McCabe, strong run and slipping that pass along to Samuelson up alongside of him, but it's a penalty. Samuelson held yeah. before he actually yep. uh, got in possession of the ball there, but McCabe, I think trying to offload there to a to a player that was really in an impossible position and McCabe would do well to make sure that he supports you in a better position than he is. A coin finds touch about 30 metres out from South's line. South's are leading by six points to two. Fitzgerald, the hooker, is there and back it comes to Kiss, the winger. <laughs> 22 metres out from South's line. Lewis, Samuelson and back them to Nella. Nellor, centre field, tackled by John Elias. This is Nellor, this is the hooker again to Lewis. Nellor, and Wilson send it to home. Mark home, strong run, 10 metres out, did well to get to his fullback in the tackle. I don't know how he slipped it away. Hickey has it now. McHickey playing in the front row, across to Lewis. Nellor, across to Samuelson and uh, well and truly picked up by Peter Jackson. Final tackle. Fitzgerald. Lewis. Long pass then to Hickey out wide to Booth. Back to Lewis again. Up goes the bomb. And pushes it out, Belcher, to make sure of it. So it's a drop out from the goalposts. Belcher. Restarts play. McCabe just received a little bit of attention. The second row for Valleys, but he seems to be all right again now as it goes down to Booth. Finally stopped by French, 24 metres out from South's line. Fitzgerald switches on to Nellor. Stopped by the lock forward car, but gets it back to Hickey. And Peter Jackson's the tackler. 22 metres out, in front. Fitzgerald, Lewis, Samuelson, Lewis again. Across there, this is Coyne, centre. Stopped by the hooker, gets the pass back again. The boy's flying through, but couldn't hold it. And uh, referee saying we'll have a scrum. John Elias, the injured player there. 30 metres out from Valley's line, it's the South's ball as it comes to French. 
Then to Jackson. Peter Jackson getting it back to French pretty neatly. Gary French. Muller. Cullen. Muller. And this time Tom. 22 metres out from Valley's line. Muller. Cullen. Meskill. Kirby Abbott's up into the dummy half position. Cullen. French. And uh, there's Peter Jackson. Alongside of him comes the, the winger who uh, came into the movement from the far side as a switch back again to, to Wallace, the other side winger from Jackson. And some, some good movement then from South. It's only nine metres out from Valley's line. Norm Carr. Carr trying to crash through himself. Only a two metres out. The final tackle's on. Muller's up into the dummy half position. Up to Cullen. There's the bomb. South pouring through, Valleys lose it, pushed out by Valleys as the coin made sure that it went dead. And so Valleys will drop out from the goal post. South are leading 6-2 and we've got six and a half minutes left in this half. Of course you cannot be offside in your uh, own in goal area, so coin although he's in front of those two Valleys players, was quite at liberty to knock the ball dead. Coin down to halfway. Jackson knocking it back. Peter Jackson across the halfway mark. Coin was the tackler. This is Muller to Cullen. Wayne Cullen. Oh, that was a high tackle. Uh, Mark Hone catching him round pretty high then. What's the referee have to say about that one? Eddie Ward saw it. Let's have a look, look at it again on the replay. There he is going in very low to the ground and Hone just came in to wrap him up. I didn't think it was a vicious swinging arm tackle by any means. And uh, I would say that uh, Cullen will have time to recover and play will continue. So it's Cullen to uh, restart play. This is Muller. Meskell. French. And uh, the second row. Tronk getting it back to Peter Jackson. His pass away very neatly to Belcher. Flashing into the movement, Gary Belcher. And really running well. Can he get it past the full row? Look at Belcher screaming. He's going to score the second try for South. And what a great try from Belcher. And South lead by 10 points to two. Magnificent try. And two of their best players so far, South in attack. Peter Jackson and uh, Gary Belcher showing just how good they are. Really spectacular attack from Belcher. Fancy footwork. There he was taking the inside pass. Looked like he was always going to run into trouble because the Valley's players were coming from everywhere. But Belcher just kept striding out, changing direction at all times. Palmed off one and then set his sights for the corner. Michael Booth didn't have the pace and Belcher goes across for a great try. Here he is again, Belcher, looking for support as he went. Realised his support was covered. Here be Abbott. Kept striding out of tackle. Look at the big stride he's got. Making sure he gets away from one. Pressure pushes away from uh, Les Kiss, I think it was, who was trying to make a cover defending tackle. And Belcher then had enough pace to get away from Michael B. Scoots across in the corner for South. One of South's really good tries for the year. Gary French attempting this conversion. Less than a metre in from touch. South leading 10-2. Four and a half minutes left, and he's hooked it well away. Booth restarts play for Valleys, running from the southern end with the breeze. And it's the uh, first half as it goes down to Belcher. Muller, Nesco. Been a really, really strange first half, this one. Uh, Valleys have had by far the better of the uh, territorial advantage in the match, but they haven't been able to get the uh, ball across the line. And it's been because South's defence has been particularly good. They've, uh, they've made sure that they've covered the ball carry at all times. And yet when South have got down inside Valleys territory, they've kept the ball alive well, and they've got it out to their pacey backs and uh, really have made good territory by doing it. And that's French kicking for the line. And a good kick too. Only three minutes left in the first half. Souths have won it against the head. Cullen finishing with it. Gary Thompson, the winger, in the dummy half position, and deciding to have a run. Picked up by Wilson, Valley's locked forward. And lost the ball as he's getting up to play it, and so we'll have a scrum for the knock-on. So that negated that win against the head. Valley's ball. This is 5-8, uh, across the booth. Muller. 
Bob Hooker, Fitzgerald. Well stopped by Elias. Payne is there. Elias the tackler again. Fitzgerald. Lewis. Stepping at this time to McCabe. Almost on halfway. South leading by 10 points to 2. Across to Lewis. Further then to his 5'8 Samuelson. This is Coyne. And back to Lewis. To, to uh, Wilson. But over halfway. Turning the ball about. Very quickly valleys. This is the hooker. Fitzgerald in possession. Changing hands a lot. Nine metres inside South Territory. Nello. Nearly astray. And picked up by Tromp for Souths. John Elias. Low tackle from Mark Wilson stopped his progress. Muller and Mestre. Mestre does well to get it on then to Hubie Abbott, the big centre. And Abbott looking well as he slips the pass back inside the car, who was backing up well the lock forward. Only about 24 metres out from Valley's line. Getting close to uh, half time. It comes to Wayne Cullen further across to French. Then Tronk out there, the second row. Here's Belcher again into the movement. Slipping away from those tackles and Belcher. Flipping one across the top to Thompson, but it went over his head. And uh, so we'll have a scrum just inside Valley's quarter line as we see that there's 40 seconds left in this first half. Valley's finding it very hard to contain South once they move that ball out wide. And from the scrum, it's a penalty to South. South just taking the tap, there's Meskel, uh, the front row, Mark Meskel. Time is running out, only about six seconds left, so going to be lucky to be able to score from here as John Elias tries to burst through, ten metres out. And moving it across quickly, and there's the kick from, from Phelan, and uh, it runs dead as we look at the uh, details of the match, and we see that the scrums stand at 5-all, tight heads 1-0 to Souths, the penalties 3-2 to Valleys. And the scrum penalties, 1-0 to Souths. Half-time, Souths are leading by 10 points to 2. Michael Booth starts play for Valleys, running against the breeze. And this is the second half. Souths are leading by 10 points to 2 as it goes down to Belcher. Thompson, dummy half. With the previous encounter in the first round, a really close match. South 3, Valleys 2, and it wasn't in the wet as you might expect. It was a dry day here at Lane Park. A really brilliant match with a field goal winning it. Gary French potting one over in the last seconds of the match. Now Chris Phelan to play it back for Souths. Muller's in the dummy half position. French is there. Getting across. Well away from the line. Booth has it. Across to Chalosky. Winger tackle 30, 10 metres short of halfway. This is Mark Hone. Fitzgerald and uh, McHickey. Strong run over halfway. Lewis and McCabe. Valleys coming out with half after half time, looking as if they re really mean business. Fitzgerald. Lewis, Coins there, and uh, doubling round Samuelson. With the pass, the boys going astray. But uh, Valley's ball still. That's the winger, Chalosky to play it back. And Coin sending it to the blind side to Lewis, and into touch. Lewis quite prepared to go into touch then, or be taken in as it was the last tackle, but Valley's really lacking penetration. They didn't have much penetration in the first half and they haven't uh, really been able to improve too much on it again in the second. South's ball, Cullen. South has scored two tries to nil, leading 10 points to two, and with the breeze in the second half, have every chance to win this game. They haven't had one many in recent starts. In fact, they've lost four of their last five games, South. Muller, French, and Elias. On halfway. Muller, French, Cullen outside of him for a change. Peter Jackson in the centres. Well and truly picked up by McCabe. Does well get to Norman Carr. Carr over the halfway mark. And look at Norman Carr, like a two-year-old there. Ankle tap. But a good run indeed. And still able to get the pass away as he gets it to Muller. 22 metres out. 20 metres out. Good work from South Skipper. 
across the fullback, sends it to his halfback, the French, and then to Trunk. Trunk looks across, and here's Peter Jackson in the centres. Um, almost knocked on, but not nicely picked up on the half volley by French. Final tackle on, 15 metres out from Valley's line. Cullen, and all rebounding, is hitting the Valley's player. Fitzgerald can't pick it up, eventually gathers it, and the uh, knock on to be played. South ball, penalty. Bounced off the uh, prop foot. Penalty to Valleys. And the mark being advanced to wherever uh, South were uh, holding the ball back. And of course, penalties now favouring Valleys 4 to 2. An opportunity now for Valleys to get back on the attack. And of course, they must score points early in the second half. 10 points to 2, South lead. And uh, Valleys, on for a lot of occasions in the first half, were able to get down near South line but weren't, be, weren't able to get the ball across. So there's Kiss tackle 30 metres out from South line. Gerald's there, the hooker to Lewis, Samuelson, 5'8", and here comes Nello, the front row forward coming through. Running from dummy half was the hooker to Lewis. Nello. And this time Wilson, the lock forward to Hone. Mark Hone back to Wilson again. Trying to slip through, only 10 metres out. Fitzgerald, Lewis, Neller, bumps away from one tackle, path back inside to his 5'8", South ball, lost ball, non car French, Elias. Here the Abbott, the very tall centres up there to distribute to Meskell. Scott Lewis around the ankles. French across as it comes to uh, Peter Jackson from Conk. And Chris Feeler. Going nowhere. Final tackle. South leading 10 points to 2. Back to Belcher. Over the head of uh, Michael Booth but uh, gets it this time. And Chalosky. Scott Chalosky, 10 metres short of halfway. Good boy from Chalosky there, yeah. positioned himself nicely uh, on the uh, outside of Booth, realising that his own winger had covered him on the uh, on the touchline. There's Kiss to play it back, just short of halfway. Wayne Cullen yeah. not releasing Les Kiss, uh, not releasing the legs, and a penalty now gone to Valleys. Coyne, take this kick for the line. And finds touch, 10 metres inside South Territory. Gerald picks up a few metres cut about seven minutes into the second half to Lewis and uh, onto the ball comes Hickey, Nick Hickey playing in the front row today Gerald to Lewis and holding it up for home caught by French and also Jackson assistance from Elias coming in for the third man there and the ball dragged away and it's a penalty against uh, South dragging the ball away in the tackle a penalty to Valleys in front Michael Booth attempting this penalty kick for Valleys in front South's are leading 10 points to 2 after 7 minutes into the second half and the flags are up so the lead has been reduced South's leading Valleys 10-4 Belcher restarts for South's just seen some treatment to uh, one of the Valleys players on the sideline, Nello, but, uh, he seems to be okay again. This is Kiss. It's Gerald. It's no one. Gathered by Wilson. Lock forward, picked up by Elias. Hooker, it's Gerald. McCabe. Plenty of South tacklers there for Peter McCabe. 22 metres out from his own line. Lewis, and uh, across to Coyne then to Hearn, and here's the boys flying through the centre, but a good low tackle. That was uh, the halfback Cullen, got him around the ankles. Assistance from Muller in the tackle. And the last tackle's on. Coyne kicking over halfway. Wallace, South's left winger, Paul Wallace. Tackled by McCabe. And also Samuelson, the 5'8". Now, this is Belcher up to halfway, flipping it across then to Hubie Abbott, running strongly. 
breaking out of one tackle and 30 metres out from Valley's line. Belcher, no hesitation in running from dummy half and screwing out of tackles, Belcher. 18 metres out from Valley's line. Across to French, then to Meskell, turning it back to Jackson. Cullen, Cullen trying to weave his way through. Here's Scott Trunk backing him up well. South's moving the ball well. Only 10 metres out from Valley's line. Muller is there and turning it back the other way to Carr, who's flying through. Final tackle. Meskell, back to Cullen, and there's the bomb. Boots underneath it and loses it. He's running dead, towed out by Valley's winger Kiss, and so they'll have to drop out from the goal mouth. Now we see Stephen Boys receiving some attention behind the uh, goal posts. Valley centre as the dropout goes down to Belcher and on to Meskell. 32 metres out. Gary Thompson's dummy half. Cullen and Phelan. Boy still receiving attention behind the goal mouth. As he's been replaced, in fact, as Jeff Coots. This is uh, second row of Elias. Number 14, Coots is the replacement in Valley's lineup. Now to Cullen for Souths. Tronk. Meskell turning in that tackle. Belcher there, knocking the ball back. Tonk again. Here's Abbott. He'll be up, driven to the ground by Kiss. Across to Thompson. Longer pass then. French, the 5'8, picked up by Kiss coming, following the ball through. Final tackles on. Muller and Thompson. Gathered by Cholosky. The Valley's winger tackled 22 metres out from uh, his own line. Souths are leading by 10 points to four. And uh, as we said, boys off the field. A couple of players uh, injured back there. It was Wallace was one of them, but he's OK again now. Boys off the field, replaced by Coots. And uh, South's uh, in possession with Phelan standing on the tackle. Muller. Meskell. Souths are starting to assert their superiority again here, David. It seems. They're starting to look good. They're moving the ball well, and they've always got uh, support coming to the player who's standing in tackles. And, like uh, so. Yes, to Abbott. That's here be Abbott, 28 metres out from Valley's line. John Elias in the dummy half position. French, Cullen and uh, Tronk. Second row standing wide, back to uh, Cullen. They flipped that one across the top, but it flipped straight through a Valley's man to, to, to Losky. And so it's Valley's in possession. Across to, from uh, the centre, then to Nellor. That's that bandage he's got strapping round his uh, foot. Uh, Coots. Tronk was the tackler. Hickey. Scott Tronk's made a welcome return to this uh, south side. Been out injured for a, cu a couple of weeks and he's added a new dimension to the side. He's made sure that he's offloaded the ball and he's been, been a real workhorse as well. This is McCabe. Yes, he's had an excellent game, hasn't he, Scott Tronk? Just inside South Territory. South leading 10-4. Fitzgerald and Hone. Mark Hone. Picked up quite a few metres there. Final tackle's on. And Lewis. Samuelson. And that's the, the kicker out there, Coyne, but he sends a long pass out wide to Kiss and goes straight into touch. South ball, French. Peter Jackson, fullback Belcher. Can't get away, just got away from Coots. Up to halfway, looked at Thompson alongside of him, but couldn't unload. Abbott's dummy half. There's Muller, and Eddie Muller really steaming onto the ball. No one quite in position, although Carr was coming up alongside of him there. Gives it then to Thompson. Gary Thompson about 33, 34 metres out from Valley's line. Muller, Cullen. Muller again. See, have done a lot of that today where the mm. player has passed and then wrapped the, uh, the player receiving and they've uh, caused a lot of problems for Valley's in doing that one set piece. Chris Phelan. 30 metres out. Muller. French. And Booth couldn't get to it. Picked up by Cullen for Souths. Six tackles to go. Elias. Meskell. Elias. Too many Valley's defenders there, including Mark Hearn. Hickey was in, one of the first ones in for the tackle. French. Back to Tronk. And back it goes inside to the fullback. 
across to French and then to Cullen. Testing Valley's defence, really making them work at it, switching the ball about a lot. 22 metres out from Valley's line. That's Mes the, the, the hooker, French, and now Carr. Sending straight on then to front row Phelan. And losing the ball or pushing it back is uh, one or the other, but anyway, the fullback finished with it to get it back to Muller, and he's lost it. Uh, Valley's uh, can't pick it up either, so the knock on to be played. Doesn't gain a lot of ground, but it comes on to Nella. Keep Nella almost up to the quarter line. McCabe. The hooker and Elias with the tacklers. And uh, this is Valley's deciding to work their forwards. Mick Hickey, 10 metres out. It's old Valley style. Across it comes, it comes back again to Hone. And Hone really flying through before being stopped by Carr and also Elias and another tackler in there was a 5'8 French. Valley's desperate for a try as the hook, the lock forward tries to get through. Wilson, only two metres out, the final tackle's on. Across it comes to Scott Lewis, switching it back again. Crashing through goes Mick Hickey and he's got the ball down for the first try for Valley's and Souths are now leading by 10 points to eight. A oh, good hit back there from Valley's. They're going to be able to tie their score up at 10 points. It's been a mirror image of the first half with uh, one side having all the attack, not being able to put on points. Valleys get down here for a couple of moments and they did the job. Last tackle, expecting the kick south, so they held off a touch. Good work from Scott Lewis, a creative player, much like his brother in that he's always looking for opportunity to set up play and turns it back inside of Mickey Key, who is standing nice and deep. Let's have a look at it again. Scott Lewis goes left, knowing that Mickey Key is coming with him. That turns the defence right on the wrong foot and uh, puts Mickey Key in under the pace. Michael Booth trying to level the scores at 10 all. There it goes, and the flags are up, and it's 10 all. With 22 minutes left. Belcher restarts play. Booth, Chilowski. Plenty of tacklers there, including Elias and Jackson. It's Gerald, Lewis. McCabe. Gerald. And that's Coyne kicking it. Oh, and a good kick from Coyne, too. Great, Take... work. Great work from Peter Coyne. Now, Valley's starting to run with a, uh, a bit of confidence in their play now. A very tidy piece of uh, play. Valley just took it up a couple, and uh, Coyne taking the ball on the right hand side of the ruck, hooking it across left field and court. Gary Thompson unawares. Valley's running against the breeze, although it's dropped away quite a bit, the breeze. Uh, Flag's not moving a great deal on the post. To Thompson for South, the winger. French. Belcher. Can't get away from home. Good wrap-up tackle from Mark Home. Peter Jackson. And Muller. South hooker, 12 metres short of halfway. This is uh, the halfback, slipping it back to Elias. Who in turn gave it to French. Elias and Phelan. Final tackle. Muller, French. There's Kiss. Got to wet away from Trunk. Pretty elusive. Gets up towards halfway, pretty well done too, before he was stopped by Meskel and Tronk, who followed through from missing that tackle earlier. And uh, now we have Hickey, the try scorer for Valleys, playing at five metres inside South's territory. Nella. South thought they, thought they had this game won. Of course, they haven't at 10 all now. They had a, a good lead of 10 2 at half time, and they've relaxed, and Valleys have really come on strong. McCabe. Well, he certainly used their forwards well in the lead-up to that try, David, didn't they? Yeah, and they're uh, doing it again. They're making good territory up the middle of the ruck. And here goes Scott Lewis. Looking across for that blind side. His player was in front of him then, so eventually got it back to his lock forward. Then it comes to Samuelson. Samuelson floats one to Coyne, but couldn't pick it up. This is Coots, but the ball had been knocked on. And so we'll have a scrum. There's the scrums at the moment. 8-6 in favour of South and one tight head to South. South's ball, straight to Belcher. Good tackle from Samuelson, stopped his progress. 
And now we have Carr. Penalty. Not allowing him to play the ball quickly enough against Samuelson, so it's a penalty to Souths, 30 metres out from their own line. Norm Carr's lacked nothing in determination today. He's uh, decided that he's going to uh, really show the way for Souths, and he's run very hard every time he's handled the ball. There he is, the veteran, the war horse in Brisbane football. I said before the game, a uh, distinguished career with West and switched to South this year, and uh, he's been made captain of the side, and I know that Wayne Bennett is very happy with the way that he leads the club. South's inside uh, Valley's territory, which back into their own territory now as they send it deeper into their play, and it's John Elias on halfway. Muller, Cullen, French, and getting it back to Elias. Manages to get on to Jackson. <laughs> Souths are going nowhere. The defence is too tough in the middle there. Great defence, Valleys. Muller. Meskel. Over the top of the halfback. They're not too more balanced, but plenty of defenders in there, including Nello. Conspicuous for that strapping around his left uh, uh, foot. And uh, now Phelan. Hands this time around Phelan's legs to pull him down. Muller. That's the halfback's pass to French. Further across then, Peter Jackson and Elias out wide and slipping the pass to Abbott. Almost in front, then a comeback to John Elias again. He's having a wow of a game, isn't he? Cross it come very quickly then. In and into the centres, back inside now with Carr racing through to put it down. And it's another try to Souths. And Souths lead by 14 points to 10. A brilliant try, Souths. They've got the back line moving once again and it's been their best players that really featured in that try. Elias, Belcher... And of course Jackson and uh, Souths have always been dangerous every time they've got the ball out wide. Good pass there to Elias, stretches through, gets through that line of defence. Shalosky couldn't hold him, fired the pass out to Belcher. Belcher had Wallace outside but through the dummy. That sent Kiss away. Samuelson had him around the legs but good back up from Norm Carr. And Fitzgerald couldn't stop him from placing the ball over the line. What a fine try from Souths. They've scored a couple of beauties and this is a real good team try. Norm Carr there backing up on the inside. Belcher throws the dummy, that takes care of Kiss. He's tackled from behind by Samuelson. Nicely turned the ball back inside. Norm Carr juggles it for a moment and just has to fall across the line. Great magpie try. Gary French attempting the conversion. Souths leading 14-10. 15 minutes left in the match. French's kick. Looks good. The flags are up. Valuable points for the Magpies, leading 16 men. Michael Booth to restart play. The Valleys. Thompson has trouble with it. Finally gathers. Muller. Neskel. South's got an interesting pattern now from the kickoffs. No longer do they have their four, their front rowers right up in the front line, only 10 metres from the half line. They have Neskel standing right back on the dead ball line, and he's ready there to take the first ruck after the kickoff. Now Phelan. And sees the gap and couldn't believe his eyes. Chris Phelan, 12 metres short of halfway. Muller. French. Well taken. Booth. Wallace was the tackle just short of the halfway mark. This was Chalosky. The lightweight winger does well to take it 10 metres inside South's territory. And now Nello. The Valleys look as if they're going to drive down the middle as they did before with their forwards. Yes, here it is. It's uh, on again now. But there's the replacement uh, player. Hickey is uh, off the field. And uh, i just let you know who that is again let's have another look at him as it comes on to Hearn it's Bob Knight in fact is the replacement um, and we see Hearn now 20 metres out across to Lewis and uh, up it goes off the side of his boot <laughs> and everyone's getting in everyone's way Booth finishes with it for Valleys and on to Kiss there's Kiss trying to flick it back and then he was flicked and so it goes straight into touch and we'll have a scrum Desperate move here from uh, Peter McCoy to get a couple of fresh fellows on. Of course, they will have played reserve grade, but had some time to recover in a very important stage in the match now. Only 13 minutes to go. South leading 16-10. And Valleys have won that scrum. This is Chalofsky. It's Gerald. Uh, across from the lock forward, further to Samuelson to uh, Coyne. Tackle by Carr and Tromp. Gerald to Nellor. 
Phelan gets to him, but he gets it back to Lewis. Straight on to his lock forward, Mark Wilson, stepping up to the quarter line. Mark Wilson flying away now. He's looking for support, and the support's up alongside of him. Towers. Coyne races through, and Coyne pulled down a good break from Valley's lock. Valley's only nine metres out from the line. As it comes back and crashing through now comes this replacement, Noble. Final tackle. Lewis. And stepping it back again to Nello. Nello's pass out wide, stepping it onto the 5 8 On it comes now to Boots there on the kiss. And kiss it to Chalosky. And Chalosky races around to put it down for Valleys. And South's lead now by 16 points to 14. Once again, Scott Lewis near the line in desperation, getting the ball moving. And uh, Valleys really intent on getting the ball out wide very quickly. Here it is, panic passing really, but they had to get it out wide. They knew the opportunity was out there. Samuelson out to Booth. Booth just took the tackle, and Shalosky swept him in the corner and then improved the position. So a great opportunity here now for the diehards to level it up once again. Let's have a look at it again. Not a lot of room to move any of the Valley's players here. Boo took it well over the top of his head, then drew Belcher. That gave Shalosky the opportunity to sneak across in the corner. Uh, Wallace tried to uh, prevent him from putting the ball down, but couldn't. Belcher restarts play for Souths. Hone. Knights to the dummy half position. Across to Nello. 10 metres short of halfway. And that Valley uh, South player uh, injured, left on the ground, is uh, uh, Chris Phelan, I think it is, as the ball comes back, switched across to Kiss. And there's Kiss having a run up middle field, finally picked up by Thompson. Thomas Lewis, out wide then, and uh, loose on the ground, anyone's ball, knocked on. And uh, we look at the clock, three and a half minutes left. South ball. Belcher's up there, the dummy half position. A little bit of time wasting going on there, it seemed. This is the replacement player, Lloyd Clark. Just feeling. Been a good game this one set had a comfortable lead at uh, half time of 10 points to two and uh, they then uh, had to uh, forestall a comeback here from valleys they got back to 10 all valleys and uh, they did pretty well in uh, ensuring that they did hit back well they, they played far better football in the second half they did in the first they were far more positive about it but in the uh, final sum up really it's been south who have been able to play havoc with valleys out wide they've been prepared to move the ball out wide players such as belcher and jackson have had big games because they've been able to run into plenty of uh, open territory in the forwards also, Norm Carr has had a fine game. Um, I thought uh, he was really an inspiration to the side. John Elias also played particularly well, and Scott Tronk, while he was on there, replaced only a couple of moments ago, showed his worth in the ability to offload. Eddie Muller was in everything, and really the south side probably deserving of winners, and it looks like now with only a couple of minutes to go that they should run out winners. Valley's not disgraced. They played well themselves. Mark Hone had another good game for Valley's. I thought Les Kiss was one of their better players, was involved every time... Uh, uh, he had an opportunity, he got in there uh, to make sure he could make ground for his side. Valley's really hit back well, but just probably not good enough on the day. A three tries to two effort from Seas, and that about sums it up. And this is Cullen. Down to Kiss. Difficult run for him. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty to Valley's, 10 metres out from their own line. South's leading 16-14, one and a half minutes left in the game as... Uh, Wayne puts it 30 metres out from his own line. It's Gerald, and uh, this is Bob Knight. Greeted by plenty of South's uh, tacklers there. South's have only got to hang on to win this game as it goes to Lewis. Lewis sends it to Wood. And uh, David Wood, wrapped up by John Elias and also Gary French, the 5'8". Costa Nello. Further wide there to half-back Lewis, and Lewis caught in a sandwich tackle. Hooker Muller, and also Peter Jackson with the two tacklers in there. This is Mark Wilson. Valley's locked forward over halfway. Looking back to the clock, one minute. And a few seconds left. Valley's last chance now over the halfway mark, and uh, Coyne trying to get it away, but good wrap-up tackle from South stops that. And it's Lloyd Clark, one of the tackles, and the other one was the half-back Cullen. Now it comes on to David Wood, flipping the pass out wide there to Kiss, who'd come in from that, uh, to Jalosky rather, 
but uh, toe two. Look at Peter Jackson trying to clear. Yes, keeping it at the toe. Jackson, Jackson racing away now. Can he get to it? Can't quite get to it. That's dived on by Valleys to uh, save the day. Booth gets to it first, uh, just when Peter Jackson looks as if he'd get there. But uh, they've saved the day, although only a few seconds left in the game, about 30 on the electronic clock. South leading 16-14, and they're quite happy now to see it down there. There's the replay, as you can see, Booth getting there uh, to save the day for Valleys. And uh, as it's dropped out from the goalpost now, we see Lloyd Clark in possession for Souths, 18 metres out. And it's just a case of Souths holding onto the ball now. Crowd counting the time down the last few seconds as Muller goes down to ground with it. And the Hooters will be coming up, and there it is. The referee said that's it for the ball game, and Souths have uh, beaten Valleys by 16 points to 14, and we crossed down to David Wright on the sideline for the Man of the Match award. The big league went for a cut man of the match, Gary Belcher, and uh, Gary must be nice to pick up a winning bonus after three straight losses. Yeah, it sure is, Dave. Eh? And uh, the boys played well today. Uh, Valleys fought back very strongly in the second half. Yeah, Valleys fought back strongly. I think to credit to the guys who stuck to our game plan very well. And what about your try? I thought they had you surrounded there at one stage. We seemed to come out the other side. Oh, yeah, I think just... Uh, the guys that were backing me up sort of took a bit of pressure off me and the valleys hung off a little bit and it opened up. Congratulations on a great game. Thanks very much. Souths won the scrums by 12 to 7. The tight heads were one each. The penalties went to valleys by 9 to 3. And the try scorers for Souths, Gary Thompson, Gary Belcher and Norm Carr. And for valleys, Mick Hickey, Scott Chalowski. In the goal kicking department, Booth kicked three out of four for valleys and French two out of three for Souths. Souths defeated valleys by 16 points to 14. In the outside grounds, Brothers defeated East by 28 points to 26. Winner Manley beat Redcliffe 23-16 and North defeated West 30 to 14. The cup ladder now stands at Winner Manley on top with 20 points, Brothers second 16, Souths in third place on 14, Valleys fourth 13. Next week's matches we'll see at Dolphin Oval, Redcliffe play Noots, at Newman Oval, Valleys play Easts. Corbett Park, Brothers play Souths, and at Pertell Park, West play Winner Manly. Well, one of those matches, of course, will have to be played here at Lang Park, probably Brothers and Souths. Now, I'm off to New Zealand on Thursday to cover the test matches there for ABC Radio, 4QR, 612 4QR, and also regional stations, and I'll be leaving you in the capable hands of David Wright and Bernie Pramberg for the next two weeks. So, I'll be seeing you in a few weeks' time. Thanks very much for being with us. Good night. Stay with ABC for the Weekend National and a reminder to, to join us for the premiere of Africa, an eight-part series playing out the rich and diverse drama of Africa, past and present. Africa premiering tonight at 25 past nine.